Hey guys, um, today we're doing a little video on how to get better at playing realistic battles. And this is like a little start of mine to kind of help our community, the War Thunder community, get better at uh, realistic battles. Kind of have a good understanding of, you know, what's going on, the things that you can do, how you can help your team, and not spawn camp from the beginning especially the new players that you know it's pretty easy to figure that the red flag is where you're gonna find enemies a uh, hundred percent and you, you know you just drive to the spawn and you're shooting which is not fun to play so here's uh here's the map of Moss Dock and uh, I chose this specific map because there's a few things going on with this map number one the the, the side that I spawned on is actually not the best side to spawn on because the other side has a massive advantage and which I'm just about to explain. Um, so here, uh, we'll start with it. So there's a few things that happen in, in every battle. There's people who flank, there's people who go for caps, and then there's people who spawn camp, which is, you know, which kind of ruins the experience for everybody, but here we go. So our team spawns here, and we're gonna have a few players there that are gonna go to C point to cap, one or two, we're gonna have a good amount of players going to B cap, uh, and then we have some players going on this side to hold this line on the flank. We will also have at times some players that go strictly, uh, they'll skip the C point and actually go for this line over here. Right. Now, the enemy team, why it has such a good uh, advantage is because they so here's what the enemy team is going to do what is to be expected so they're going to come cap a a few people are going to come cap a a uh, few are going to go for b and then a few are going to drive straight to over here so this is a very very um important position on this map because this thing creates a kill zone and it covers this whole part of the map including our spawn on this side so this is all covered from this side so uh, it, they can't shoot in the spawn because we got these little hills over here but anybody coming up here is uh, from here to going up to B is in that kill zone they can they can view they can spot people anything over here whatever uh, there are some uh, I guess little um, undoes into the ground that you can you know you can hide behind or whatever there's like slight hills and there's gaps in the ground you can you can sit but uh, my point is that this is a very important position, very powerful position as well, and uh, people can shoot our this team um, quite good. Now, anybody that caps the B cap and tries to push forward, these people can shoot you. They can shoot into B pretty good. Very good position, right? How do you counter it? Um, here's how we counter it. So there's this spot right here. It's not used, at, and, and from my experience, this is not used as it should be, as this position is used by this team. This team usually suffers. For most of the time I've seen, this team rarely wins. Um, but here's how you change that. This position is very strong. Now, you can't have like your whole team go to this spot, right? Obviously, that's not going to win you the match. You need some people to go to C. You need some people to go to B. And you need some people to support those people at B and C. And this is the line to do that. So here's I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to drive down there and I'm going to show you what you can cover, where to look, and what to expect from the enemy. So here we go. And uh, remember, if you're going to be as uh, late spawn as I am just leaving the spawn, you're going to get shot 100% as soon as you get here. Because by that time, the people at ACAP have capped and they're peeking their turrets over and they're looking at you. So that's one of the things that's not going for this side because their ACAP people can actually shoot into the spawn from that side, which is absolutely dumb. I love this camel, by the way. Absolutely love it. Anyways, here we go. So when you're uh, going over this side, make sure you're watching A because some people will try and tag you. They are, this this is again, like in the kill zone of the A point. People can actually see people. 
uh, that are crossing over. So be a bit mindful, right? It's not like a, a brain dead gameplay. You gotta be careful with every move that you play. So here we go. Now you gotta watch for people that are trying to, you know, some people are gonna skip the A cap and they're gonna try to flank over this side and take this flank from your team. So you have to watch out for these people. Make sure you get them uh, and make sure to expect at least one person. It's always good to expect that. Uh, and you're always on your uh, on your toes, basically. So here, we're here. We can see if anybody's trying to cross. And uh, if you're, you know, if you start the game right with the, the, you know, right away when you spawn, and you start driving this side, and you're not a late spawn, you're the you're the first spawn. Um, you can actually catch people here pretty easy. Um, so there you go. So this is a good good place to look. If there's anybody trying to take this flank away from you, the, the side that you are, you also have access to the A point. You can look into the A point that T64 is doing some dumb things, but so you can look into the A cap, uh, engaging or not engaging up to you. Good position as well. So you see like my whole tank is covered and this is a hull down position. Um, and then we also have access to the B cap. So we can see we have pretty good view to the B cap and we can shoot into B as well. Okay, so this is the first position. We're gonna go into the second position. So the second position is right next to it. So this is right here, covered in trees. It's a, the same kind of thing that you have, the hull down position. And you have a much wider access. So here you have a really good view of anybody trying to cross over to this side. Uh, you can also shoot people that are, that are, there are some people over there that sit behind and camp and shoot people coming out of our spawn so you can you can tag those a now you're at a good angle to the a where you can actually catch people on the side uh, and you know um, if you give your side a top here you're dead b oh boy um so here's the strategic point about this position now you have access to that hill behind the b point that is where you're 100% going to find maybe one or two players that are trying to camp. And what they normally do is they sit on this hill. That's what we're looking at. And they, they, they're shooting into C. They're shooting into any player that's trying to, from our team, trying to go around B cap. So, uh, again, you can catch people there. If you kill them, obviously, every kill, every kill uh, helps your team out. Um you know, it, it, it adds to uh, the points of victory and it eventually, uh, if you play your cards right, you're going to win the game. So here we go. So uh, once you're here, make sure you're going to spend some time. You're going to make sure that A is clear. You're going to make sure there's nobody trying to cu uh, cut you over the side. And once you have that clear you, and you buy that time, you're going to be able to see what go what's going on with the B cap. So if the enemy team has the B cap, I'd be very cautious moving, crossing over, pushing forward. Um, and do wait for reinforcements. So uh, over here, here's another good part. You actually have access to that side over there too. So uh, if the enemy team has taken this line over here, uh, I'll show you, you actually have access to that side. So from here, um, I can see pretty well. That is where uh, they're most likely gonna be. Now obviously they're gonna be in cover because they, that's like a good hull down position as well you can shoot and come get back into cover uh, but you can actually surprise them because uh, people rarely look over this side so if you're good with your gun you can catch them while you peek out to shoot your enemy uh, shoot your team members here we go so once you make sure that you've cleared this side and uh, regardless of who has B at this point you got to check the B at all times when you're crossing this side uh, thermals really help so you go over this side and now you're gonna have to push. And it is very important to advance and push. Because if you just sit and camp, uh, sure, you're gonna get a couple of kills, but you're not helping your team win the game. And which, which, it's kind of a bad practice if you ask me. So this is why this is my kind of gameplay. I, don't, I do not like to sit and snipe. There's very few maps where I'm gonna sit because I, you know, the whole map is a killer zone and it's, a, it's just dumb map design. So here we go. As you advance, you, you keep checking that side because uh, that's a good place to find enemies. Do make sure you check your front because like the people that you killed from here, they could be coming for revenge. Always, always expect uh, 
people coming back for revenge. That's a War Thunder thing. Always remember, if you kill somebody, he's gonna come back for you. And uh, do check the tab menu, right? This is this is a good part. Like, if you kill somebody and you see they respawned, do keep that in mind. They're gonna try and at least come get you. So, uh, here we have we have the side of the A point. At this point, A point is probably capped, and there's nobody at A point because you have most likely kill them or at this point when you're approaching you have their gun barrels out now this is your part of the job to do that before you approach the a, a cap um a is empty uh it's capped right and then uh when you when you proceed forward make sure you check the spawn because you're at the spawn now if you see anybody you gotta shoot it is important that you shoot anybody coming out of the spawn or they're gonna shoot you that's just how it works um but don't sit there keep advancing uh, what I would I would basically oh boy I should have shot him well that fucking ruined it anyway so what you basically do I was gonna do is basically decap the a cap uh, you know assuming that the enemy cap enemy team has a cap now after the if you don't want to uh, cap the whole point which is a bit dangerous because uh, a full cap with the enemy team uh when you're decapping and capping it again it takes a bit of time and if you're the only one on this side i wouldn't spend time capping the whole cap i would decap it move along as long as you have the c cap and the b cap you're winning uh no problem so here you are now you're behind b if if the enemy team still has b oh you can you can still uh, you can still take people out right and by that time you see where I made I was behind the enemy team and at that point it's basically game over for the enemy team but again it, it it's a team effort right so you got to watch and play with your team please don't be pushing people around be nice and uh, um, good luck hunting I'll see you in the next one